Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to some more Mad Pack with myself, Lewis. Hope you're brilliant. Have yourself a great day as always. I am back from the Twilight Forest. Yes, I thought I'd take a break. A small, short vacation from the Twilight. One, because our multiplier was going insane. <laughs> it's 121.9. And two, because we need to prepare ourselves a little bit better. You know, I, I wanted to go into the Twilight Forest and I wanted to ace it. You know, I wanted to go through the whole thing. I wanted to just do it in one foul swoop. And that isn't going to happen. <laughs> like, the problems we had after the last episode, trying to kill the Lich, man, that was hard. So I thought we would come back and we would reevaluate the situation and try and make some stuff that's going to aid us in our next journey to the Twilight, which is going to be to find a Minotaur's maze. And I think I've figured out a few things that I want to take with me to play out. Now, the first thing is going to be new armor. Because this is just isn't going to do. You know, having these extra hearts and the, the bit that feeds me, you know, that's cool. That's cool. But it's only got the protection of diamond. Although it's got protection 4 and absorption 5 on it, it's still not that good, really. And the obsidian boots and diamond, they're, they're all nice, but there is so much better. And for the weapons and things, again, they're good. But there's so much better. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to dive into the realms of Project E to help us with this one. Now, a lot of you guys have been saying I should use the Essence Armor. And believe me, the Essence Armor is good. Real good. But so is the Project E stuff. So I'm going to go with this just because I used to love Equivalent Exchange back in the days of Tech It. And I miss it. So I want to play with this stuff again. <laughs> <laughs> so first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a little way to get ourselves a load of EMC a little bit faster than waiting for our solar panel -y things up here to do the trick. And we're going to do this by spawning in a load of monsters, killing them, and putting all their goodies in here and turning it into EMC. Now there is a couple of ways, a kind of cheaty couple of ways to do this with blaze rods, but to be honest, I don't want to do that because it's a little bit cheaty, you know, like duplication and replication and things and... You know, Equivalent Exchange or Project E is kind of overpowered as it is. Well, kind of, but it is overpowered. But, uh, <laughs> you know, if you're kind of duping and cheating, that's just, uh, that's a bit too far. So, what we're going to do, because I'm a little bit lazy and I can't be bothered to go and move any spawners, because I would go get a blaze spawner and just do it that way. But I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do a little trick that I did from Blood and Bones, because it worked really, really well. My only worry is I might have to move this area to another place because of the stuff that spawns when stuff dies. You know, you get those ghosts that can fly through walls. They could be an issue, but I think we're going to be okay. Now, the first thing I want to go ahead and do is I want to make myself a grinder, because we can't do anything without a grinder. You know, an easy way to kill the guys and grab all the stuff. So we're going to make a grinder. Now, I've been setting up a few things. I've got myself some trees outside that are doing rubber, which we're going to need. So I'm going to need some of this. Oh. And we're going to turn this into some plastic sheets. So let's take all of this stuff, because we're going to do a little bit of crafting before we set all this up. So first things first, we're going to need some plastic sheets. There we go. We're going to need ourselves some gold. And we're going to need a gold sword. Yeah, there we go. One gold sword. And we're also going to need a piston. I wonder if i got a piston inside here. I don't think I'd have a piston inside here, no. Let's get some wood. We'll grab some wood. What is it we need? Three bits? Uh, one, two, three. And we need some cobblestone. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six, I think, probably. Some redstone and some iron. Cool, cool. And this will make us a piston. And you know what? I'm going to probably put all this in the transmutation table as well so that we've got a nice area set up so that we uh, can just grab these when we need them so there we go there's that and let's teach this to that and we're also going to need what we're gonna need we need to get ourselves a, uh, a, a, a frinder that's the one <laughs> a frinder a grinder uh, we need a factory machine we don't need a book factory machine is free stone and free of that good stuff so let's get some stone and oh I haven't got stone in here ah actually I don't think stone 
Does stone have an EMC? Oh, it does have an EMC cost. Huh. I just must not have talked that to my table. There we go. All right. So we need you. And let's make a factory machine block. And we're also going to need a book. Let's see if we've got a spare book. Laying around in one of these chests. I don't think we do. That's fine. We can quickly grab a bookings. There we are. And I think that is most of the stuff we need for our finder. Okay. So it's you. Oof. So one of that. One of that. A golden sword. A book. And free plastic. Gives us a grinder. Brilliant. Now grinders work in a 5x5 five five area. So with that we can destroy anything that's within a 5x5 five five area. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing it right here. So I'm going to pop this guy down here. There we go. And I kind of want it the other way around. There we go. Much better. So that's going to be doing that, grinding this whole area out. Now we're going to need something to burn to spawn these guys. So we're going to use some Neverrack. Because this is like making a spawner, pretty much. <laughs> and I love doing it this way, because it's kind of fun. So we'll grab all of this. There we go. Because remember, Neverrack never goes out. And it always burns, which is great, because burning means we're spawning. So let's put all that stuff back in there. There we go. And I don't think these things have EMC costs today. No. Otherwise, I'd uh, copy the uh, machines. But it doesn't look like we do. So let's put these back inside here. There we go. And now we're going to need a couple more bits. So we're going to want a way to transfer items out of this guy. And I think I'm going to do that with pipes. Should we use pipes? Do you want to use a mechanic? No. And you know what? Let's just go with stone transport. Yeah. I wonder if I need wooden with this guy. I honestly don't know if it will auto pump out. We'll have to find out. So that's going to go to there. And let's put a few of these down. There we go. And we want a diamond pipe. And some more stone. There we go. And we'll pop you there. Nice. All right, so that's going to do that. Now, with all the additional stuff that we get, am I going to want to delete it, or am I actually going to want to use it, you know, for something? I'm really not sure. Like, it depends what we get, I guess. I think for now, hmm, for now, we will keep all of the additional stuff that we get, just in case some of it is actually useful. Now, the one thing you have to bear in mind with all of this, let's just use now chemical chest because it's much bigger. Uh, one thing to bear in mind with all of this is that not everything can be used as EMC, so you've got to kind of uh, watch out for that, but I think we're going to be okay. Now, the thing that we're going to be copying is going to be, because there's no point in copying diamonds anymore, really, is there? Let's start copying dark matter. We're going to take it one step further, so we're going to start copying dark matter, I think. And we're still going to have liquid coming out of this guy, so we're going to need some sort of fluid pipe. So let's use this. And where do we want our liquid to be? Hmm. I guess we could have it directly underneath it, like around here. We'll get a good amount of it. I think that'll work. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so we'll have you, and let's get some tanks. There we go. And... We kind of need one more. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just... I can't take it. I can't take it. Alright, we'll grab some more of you. And we'll get some glass. There we go. And... Make some more tanks. I actually can't remember the recipe for this. <laughs> I literally cannot remember the recipe for this. Do we need another bit of obsidian? I think we need another bit of obsidian. <laughs> Alright, let's quickly grab another bit. There we go. Alright, so it's probably this. I think. No. This. No. Oh, man, what is the recipe? Oh, it must be... Oh, is it... 
Yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> we got there in the end. All right, so that's going to do that. Let's just throw all of this stuff in here. And what else are we going to need to do? I think that's going to be it. I'm not too sure if this is actually going to chuck the stuff out the back. Um, or whether it's going to go up into the tubes. We shall have to wait and see on that one. But let's light this place up and get it going. We're also going to want some glass. So let's get some glass. We're going to grab a stack of glass, actually. There we go. And we'll start doing this. So... Actually, yeah, we'll have it here. We might as well have it here, aren't we? There we go. Cool, cool. Because we don't want to waste any area that we could have stuff burning. My worry is if they're going to be able to see me through here and attack me, but I guess we'll come to that <laughs> when we come to it. Because I don't want to start firing massive grenade balloons of death through, and I don't think these things work with multi-part unless maybe they do now maybe these work with multi-part although i think uh we need to use facades and uh we need a yeah i doubt these are going to work with multi-part because you use facades don't you hmm that could be a pain in the bottom you know what we'll do instead we will have the stuff come out of here i think that would be a much better way of doing it yeah if we have it come out of here and then go up that way that's probably going to be better. Although, didn't I just lose a pipe? <laughs> Did, didn't I just break one, two pipes? And I'm missing a, missing a pipe. Ah, well, well, well. All right. Well, we can just use stone transport. There we go. That'll be fine. All right. If we do it that way, and then we do that. At least we know they're not going to be able to hear us. That would do the trick, right? So let's get ourselves a piece of iron. And we're going to make ourselves a flint and steel. So that we can set this place alight. Let me go grab some flint. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've got loads of flint. Around here somewhere. Actually, did that stuff burn up in the fire? I can't remember if our flint burned up in the fire. <laughs> oh man, if that burned up in the fire, that's going to suck. Uh, mm, we'll have to uh, we'll have to get some more flint, I guess. Let me just grab this. For some reason, that keeps going over that way. It's really annoying. Let's just put this guy, like, here. There we go. That'll do. All right, let's let's see if we've got some downstairs, but I'm pretty sure I've been deleting. Actually, I must have loads of flint down here. Yeah, there we go. All right. So you and you. And let's see if this is actually going to work. It should do. There we go. Hey, look, guys, things spawning. Hey, oh man, I just realized I totally forgot to do something. Do you know what we forgot to do? I forgot to give it power. <laughs> oh no, oh, that's all right, we can fix this. Let's grab some cables and we'll just bring them around here, I guess. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to do that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh man. Cool, cool. So that's stuff coming out of there, which is brilliant. And uh, we got all these guys, which is great. They're just generating, they're just working off of lava at the minute. But this is going to make stuff for us, and then all the bits and bobs are going to come up this way. And the thing is, I'm sure we're probably going to get loads and loads and loads of rubbish, of useless stuff. Yeah, yeah there we go. There it is. <laughs> There's our first piece of useless rubbish. Because we're going to get loads of hoes and heads and things like that. And that's the only problem when you've got Lycanites mobs in. Because, uh, well not Lycanites, when you've got Infernal mobs in. Because you just get butt tons of rubbish, don't you? Like loads of it. Loads of it. Uh, oh, can we not put stuff into the top? Does that not work like that? Oh, I didn't know that. Alright, well let's put it here. Are you going to go in that way? Are 
you not going to go in that guy? Or is it because I've only just placed it there? I thought you could pump stuff into these guys. Go on. Get in there. Ah, there we go. All right, that's better. <laughs> All right. So the stuff that we're going to want to go in certain directions. Green will be coal. Do these have EMC values? They don't. So anything that is not coal will go that way. Let's put all this stuff in here. There we go. Blaze rods. We definitely want to go inside here. And hose, I guess. <laughs> Actually, no. They have they got any? Oh, they have got an EMC value. All right. Well, I guess hose can go down that way. There we go. And those guys haven't. That's fine. Grab you. Put you guys in there. All right. Well, that should. Hopefully do it. Now it's going to take a little bit of time to really get itself going, but it will do the trick. It will get us a little bit of extra stuff. Now the other thing I was thinking of doing, which is what we did before in uh, Blood and Bones as well, was pop in at the back a... Oh, look at all that stuff. Yes. Yes. <laughs> was put in a nether portal, because we did that before and we had all the trites. And we had the Belfs and the Pigmen all coming through. It was glorious. And they were all getting destroyed by the stuff. So I might do that just to see what we get our hands on if I do it that way. Because we get like a load of extra stuff if we do it that way, don't we? So that's kind of a funky way. Let's see if any of this has any uh, stuff on it that can be used. Some of these do, some of these don't. Like, we've got loads of jump boost, weakness. And this is what I was thinking, you know, do I want to save this stuff or what? Do I want to get rid of it? I could have it going into another diamond pipe and then have it splitting off. And then we could keep hold of the things like the ember charges. Delete everything else, like chain boots and rubbish like that. Stuff that we just don't need. Um, I think we might do that. Just to make it a little bit cleaner. Probably. Alright. So, let's do this. I kind of want to get blaze rods to make sure they're going down that way. Alright, we'll go around the back and we'll input a portal. I think this will work. Alright, this should do the trick. Now, some of the Lycanites mobs are actually config to spawn within a portal. So this is how you get these additional mobs to spawn in. It might look like they're actually coming through the portal, but they're not. They're actually spawning in the portal, because the portal's a block. So... This is how this one kind of works, and I kind of need to do this without <laughs> without getting loads of bad guys coming after me. Let's do this. And then, do you, and... Alright. So now, we should have trites and Belfs and all those lovely fellas making their way in through the pool. I'm just hoping that's not going to play up with my pool. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully it'll be alright. Let's have a look in here, see what we got. So we've got blaze rods in it. So I want to set the blaze rods to go down the green route. Yeah, oh, I just got rid of my, uh... oh man, I just got rid of that, didn't I? Oh well, there we go. Let go in there. Cool, cool. And everything else can stay in here, I guess. So there we go. Now we just need to leave it. And eventually, we'll get loads of good stuff. The other thing that I might do is set up a way of automating our enchanting. Because I think enchanting could be mega useful in this. Oh, look, a hoe. There we go. Let's tell this. <laughs> you can have a hoe. I wonder if it reads the MBT. I don't know. Uh, I wonder if it's like got instant fuzzy on it. We'll have to wait and see. But, yeah. I think enchanting could be really handy for a lot of stuff, especially weapons. So if we can set up auto enchanting with all our mob juice, we should be uh, pretty good there with all our essence. Now, the first thing we're going to make is going to be some armor, I think. Dark matter armor. Sounds pretty cool, and it's uh, pretty good stuff. Oh, there's the... Uh, 
<laughs> That'll be that guy again. Let's see if we can uh, let's do that. <laughs> All right. So in here, I've got a fairly decent amount of diamonds building up. Let's see how much we can get. Oof. There we go. And we're going to want dark matter armor. Now, this stuff is pretty expensive, but it's pretty good. We basically get 80% deduction on damage, which is a massive amount of reduction. So let's see how many we can get our little hands on. I can have nine. All right, so we're going to need more than that, but it's a start, right? So let's throw down that to get our dark matter chest plate. Pretty good stuff. And this is indestructible as well. It can't break, so that's even better. Uh, let's throw this in there. There we go. Oh, I can't get rid of that. <laughs> I wish everything could just get chucked in there. I'm obsidian. There we go. Okay, all right. We need more diamonds. So let's take all of these. Throw you in that. Throw you in that. Throw you in that. And another uh, nine bits. Cool, cool. So let's get our pants. Now we need our bootings. And we need a helmet. Man, that is so loud! Alright. Be a little bit careful. I think I'm going to take damage from this, but... Oh. Oh. How many have we got? We've got 13 diamonds. Let's see what this gives us. We're going to be a little bit short, I think. Yeah, we're going to need a little bit more dark matter than this. I wonder if there's anything I can get that I can instantly get a lot of stuff from. Hmm. Uh, music discs are actually worth a lot. And these music discs are rubbish, so they can go straight in the bag. I don't think we have much left to actually do. It's more just a waiting process now, I think. Yes. So we're going to have to wait to get more dark matter. Looks like it's going to be a thing. Methinks. And I have to kind of remember that you have to be near stuff for it to spawn, don't you? So we're going to have to kind of hang around here, I think, for stuff to want to do its spawnage properly. We might, it might be worth, because we've got endstone now, actually looking into... Um, I can never remember the name of the mod. The one that allows you to spawn the guys with the things. Uh, it would be known as... I just heard a bell. <laughs> um, something spawners? Let's have a look. No. Mm. I believe it comes under cage. There we go. Soul shards. Maybe we'll look into soul shards. Because these guys are pretty cool. And they're pretty cheap as well. So that be might might be worth looking into. Or we could just use the end uh, IO spawners. That could be another way of doing it. Because we can use the spawners that they have in that. Which is around here somewhere. Mm. And we've got a fairly decent amount of them already, haven't we? Yeah, the powered spawners. Right, we need some steel, machine chassis, vibrant crystals. I would need a few more machines for that to work, but overall, it wouldn't be that bad. You see, we're getting blaze rods and coal and things, so we're getting all right amount. It's just going to take a little bit of time for it to do its thing, but this is good. So now I can get some really, really strong armor on of this stuff. We just need to get a full set so that we can uh, be truly powerful. Yeah, and I have to decide what I'm going to do with the rest of this stuff, I think. As far as weapons go from this we'll probably go with a another set of this stuff we'll make something like a dark matter sword i think to do that actually that reminds me before we finish up i wanted to make myself a klein star so i don't have to keep using all this uh, redstone because that's becoming a bit of a pain in the bum if we use a klein star it should be able to hold a lot more than that and to do that we just lit we just need some mobius fuel to be able to do it and then we can start upgrading our client stars as well so let's have a look we needed what six or eight maybe and a diamond there we go and let's make one of these was it like that or that there there we go client star iron cool cool and with these we can charge all our stuff 
which is pretty cool. We can <clears throat> get a f fairly decent amount of stuff in this. I think you can even charge them inside here, or might be able to charge inside here. Is this where we charge it? Uh, no. Uh, no, I just... Uh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, there we charge that. Yeah, there we go. Look. So you can see now that it's got 50,000 EMC stored inside it, I think now that means I can use my ring. Yeah, there we go. And it will take the EMC out of this guy. And we can have this pretty much anywhere on us, which is nice. So it's like a portable EMC storage, which is pretty... I don't like the look of that. Don't like the look of that in the slightest. Why is there a hole in my thing? Man, don't tell me I'm going to have to make this out of obsidian. This is the one thing I was worried about, because these guys like to go bang. Oh, man. Uh, let's... Let's grab some... Neverack. I might have to keep an eye on this to make sure it doesn't go bang, as that could very much be a thing. I don't know what that was that exploded, but it might have been one of those heads that flies around. It might have seen me and come to try and attack me. Which is worrying. Oh, there we go. We've got blaze powder. Good stuff. So we're starting to get all the good stuff coming through now that we've got that portal set up. So we'll put blaze powder in there. Gunpowder can go in there. Got all the stuff we're going to get. Uh, bones can go in there because they got a pretty good EMC cost for bones. Uh, we'll take all of this. Throw it all inside here. There we go. Nice. Cool, cool. And, you know what, I'll re-put the stuff there later on, I think. Yeah, I'll just relight that later on. I'm going to keep an eye on it, because I want to make sure that we're not going to have any explosions. So over the next couple of days, I'm going to keep a very close eye on this, because if I have cinders flying around my base, that is going to be a nightmare. Luckily for us, though, we haven't got much stuff that's made of wood. <laughs> so it's not like our house is going to burn down like the first time. Uh, we just need to be a little bit careful to make sure that we don't have any incidents again. Because I'm all done with having incidents. We've had way too many incidents over the last few days. So that needs to be knocked on the head. But there we go. We're starting to make some good EMC, which is nice. Once this gets going, I might make another one. Set up a separate room so we have twice the amount going. And it should be fairly decent. You see we're getting blaze rods and things like that. So we're getting a... You know, it's not bad for free, is it really? Because they're spawning for free, so... I'm happy with that. But yeah, now that we've got a Klein Star, we can have that and we can store energy in it. And the thing we can do with Klein Stars is we can upgrade them. So we can have like a Klein Stars Vi, which is the next level. And to have that, we would need multiple Klein Stars. So if I just throw that stuff in there. So we would need four Klein Stars to make a Klein Stars Vi. And then so forth until we have the Omega Klein Star. And the cool thing is when you upgrade them, it keeps the amount of EMC that's stored inside it as well. So I can put this stuff in here like that. And now we've got 98,304 EMC stored inside this Klein Star. Another good way that you can charge these guys is if I get rid of this, you see that we've got this guy here, our relay. Uh, we can put Klein Stars in there, I believe. So if I take a spy and I put it, is it here to charge or is it here? Pretty sure you can pop it in one of these guys and it does its charging. Oh, oh. <laughs> at the minute though, I think it's going inside this uh, here, but yeah, you can charge the guys inside there. Pretty sure you can. I don't think it's these ones you charge it in. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, oh, no, there you are. It's storing it inside there. Yeah, but I'm pretty definite you can do it inside here as well. Yeah, I think that's the charge one, that's the discharge one. Hmm. But, you know, it's kind of cool, right? Let's put that back in there. We don't need that. Cool, cool. And how many diamonds? We've got five diamonds already. That's quite, that's quite nice. Maybe the next thing we should do is look into upgrading all of our things to Mark II so that we make diamonds faster if we do it that way. That could be a good way of doing it, I think. Yeah. Oh, we need never warts in there as well. Never warts. Nice. Sweet. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be that for today's episode. A bit more of a laid-back episode while we got a couple of bits done. But it's stuff that kind of needed to be done, I think, to progress. Once we've got a bit more EMC, 
I can make the rest of my dark matter armor and then I'll look into making the dark matter weapons and such. And the good thing with all the dark matter stuff is it's indestructible so it doesn't take any damage so you never have to replace it. And we can try and get some good enchants on there. The ultimate goal is to make gemmed armor which is the uh, best stuff you can get basically this stuff. Uh, gem helmet, we've got gem chest plate, leggings, and these give really good effects. Uh, but they're mega expensive, like we need an Evertide Amulet, Soulstone, Kleinstar Omega, and a Red Matter Helmulet, which is a Dark Matter with Red Matter. Red Matter is, like, really expensive as is. Oh, and a Kleinstar Omega needs four Kleinstar Spheres, four Kleinstar Vies for each sphere, and then the Star Dry, and the Zvi, and then the Ein, <laughs> and we've only just made one Kleinstar Zvi. So it's a pretty long way to go. Yeah, but you know what? We'll get there. And then we're going to make our way back into the Twilight Forest and we're going to beat on some Minotaurs. And they're not going to know what's here because we're going to be way too badass. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. Well, if you're enjoying the series, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the uh, channel, I urge you to subscribe for more awesome content. Have yourself a great day. Have a good one, as always. And goodbye. Goodbye.